Hey everyone, Parker with The Culture Project here, and today we're going to be talking about crushes. No matter how old you are, whether you're 16 or you're 76, whatever it is, we all, at one point or another, have a crush on someone. But why is that? Like, what do we do with a crush? What even is a crush? Because if I'm being honest with you, even well into my college years, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Sometimes we can really feel like, I just wish someone would write a textbook on crushes. That's all that I want. Believe it or not, someone kind of did. And his name was Carol Wojtyla. You might know him better as Pope John Paul II, but before he was ever Pope, his name was Carol Wojtyla. And as he lived in Poland, he wrote a book called Love and Responsibility, which is a beautiful reflection on just the nature of love and what does true love actually look like and what are the things that make up love. There's two different aspects of an attraction that we can point to. One is sensuality, the other is sentimentality. Those are really big words. You didn't watch this video to get a lecture. So to define those words, sensuality is essentially physical attraction to another person, right? The senses. We see someone else and they're attractive to us. We see them and our hearts kind of start to pound. We didn't even say a word to them yet. We have no idea what their personality is like, but we're pretty into them, right? And in and of itself, that's not a bad thing. To notice another person is attractive, that's not a bad thing. If anything, that's really appreciating the beauty that's right in front of you, how God created this person. Of course, there could be areas where lust does come in, but on its face value, just noticing someone's attractive, that's, that's totally fine. The second one, like I said, is sentimentality. And that's really we're attracted to the personality of this person. We're attracted to the emotions that they make us feel. So maybe if they're really funny, or we love the way that they care about others, or just their personality, something about them is just magnetic, that's sentimentality, you're really drawn to who that person actually is. And you know, maybe that sounds like the better, more pure like form of an attraction, but if we're honest, whenever we have a crush on someone, it's usually both of them. Think of it like this, if you were just attracted to someone physically, but you had no interest in their personality, that would be kind of bad. You would automatically recognize, well, I don't know if you like this person for the right reasons. Well, even if we flip it and we were to say, I am not physically attracted to them at all, but their personality is great. Well, okay, that's fine, but there's also something lacking there. There seems to be something that just isn't fully um, a romantic kind of love there. Whenever we're drawn to someone in a romantic way, there needs to be, to some degree, a physical and a emotional attraction to them. But St. John Paul II has something really interesting to say about attractions. He says that there's the physical attraction, there's the emotional attraction, but those are just the raw materials of love. If we just stop there, if we just stop at the sensual and sentimental experiences of an attraction, then we haven't entered into love yet. That actually it's those attractions, those things that draw us to them, that's supposed to invite them to get to learn and know another person better and then to choose their good. That's when we actually start to enter into love. But it's important to note that he didn't say that those attractive things are bad. They're actually the things that begin the conversation, so to speak. They're the things that catch our eye and that draw us to them so that we can get to know them better and begin to actually fall in love. We as human beings will have crushes on a lot of different people. And maybe sometimes that's just a greater invitation to friendship because an attraction is just noticing what's good about another person. And so, hey, if you know something good about another person, I mean, we can at least be friends, right? And if something more is there, then something more will develop but we don't have to put that much pressure on ourselves. So breathe, take a breath, it's okay. If it makes sense, go for it. But at the end of the day, everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine.